everyone. Welcome back to Readeroo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today I'm really excited to read with you a book about Christmas stockings. If you're as excited as I am, be sure to give this book a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way, every time we post a new story, we can read together right away. All right, let's get started. The book is called A Christmas Stocking Story, and it's by Hillary Knight. All right, let's get started and find out what these cute animals get inside their Christmas stockings. A Christmas Stocking Story by Hillary Knight. Happy and gay as they could wish live stork, hippo, lion, and fish. Around a corner, close and snug, lived elephant, snake, fox, and bug. These eight dear friends one winter time told this silly Christmas rhyme. One Christmas Eve, bug, bird, and beast found their stockings soiled and creased. They quickly washed their socks with care, then looked at them in deep despair. Stork's stocking was a soggy sack. Hippo's stocking was stretched and slack. Lion's stocking simply shrank. Look how little it is. Fish's sock hung loose and lank. Cried elephant, how oddly shaped. Snake said no word, but gasped and gaped. Fox's stocking was all wrong. Look how tiny it is. Bugs was much too long but they hung them up anyway. When Santa Claus appeared that night, he filled their socks by candlelight with just enough, but not too much, relying on his sense of touch. When morning came, bird, beast, and bug, each into his stocking dug. Stork, making quite a face, withdrew from his four mitts of lace. Hmm. Hippo felt inclined to grieve, peering at a knitted sleeve. Lion trying not to scowl, removed a tiny Turkish towel. Fish fell in a solemn hush finding hers held comb and brush. What would a fish do with a comb and a brush? Elephant, expecting bigger things, found his contained six diamond rings. Snake, hoping not to show dismay, discovered hers was stuffed with hay. Fox, never difficult to please, leaped when out flew costumed fleas? Bug was not entirely chipper as he unwrapped a toenail clipper. On Christmas Day, Beast Bug and Bird found each had what the next preferred. Stork said, let's do our best to fix up Santa's Christmas stocking mix-up. And they did. Stork, who suffered from sore throats, wore his sleeve with winter coats. Hippo, hiding giggly fits, shyly showed her lacy mitts. Lion, looking rather vain, brushed and combed his splendid mane. That's what the fish's brush and comb were for. They were for lion. Fish springing nimbly from her tub gave herself a Turkish rub. 
elephant who loved to play wriggled in his scratchy hay. Snake who yearned for gaudy things slipped into her diamond rings. Fox displayed his tidy feet, all his toenails clipped and neat. Bug crouched on bended knees, loudly cheer performing fleas. Look, they're doing trapeze acts. Now all was happy, all was gay on this cheery Christmas day. Everyone ended up getting what they wanted. They just had to switch and fix Santa's little mistake. The end. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. If you'd like to get some free activities to go along with our books, head over to readaroukids.com. There we do crafts and science experiments, math and reading. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can follow us on all of our social media. Again, don't forget, to like this book, which means give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that we can read together again soon. Until then, Rita Roo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.